Hey Scorpio, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. So let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Scorpio in love? This will be good for your um, next one or two weeks, but I'll be doing this on a weekly basis. So keep posted. Scorpio in love. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. The Hierophant. <laughs> really, Scorpio, nothing less than that <laughs> to start your reading. Page of Swords. Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Three of Coins, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, okay, the Nine of Swords, Judgment. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Let's get you more cards. Scorpio in love. The silver sixpence. The conch, all right, Scorpio in love, proposal, commitment, what more can amplify the Hierophant energy? No. Elusive. Wow. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I understand why you have standards in this situation, why you're standing by your standards. Scorpio in love. High Priestess. The Empress. The Fool. Okay. Wow. Interesting reading for you. Interesting spread, I mean. Okay, let's get on and um, let's start reading. Okay, Scorpio. You have a situation here where I feel like it has been brought to life. Yeah, death has been brought to life. And um, somebody may have approached you to reconnect. Yeah, there's been a lot of going back and forth, movements, you know, nothing is stagnant, at least to start with. And uh, this could be in a form of texting, emailing, social media, communication, whatnot. But it feels like it was a surge of energy. Perhaps there was a, I don't know, for some of you, this could be somebody who you haven't talked to for a long while, yeah? Or perhaps even for some of you, you have just met this person, yeah? But there is this sense of a, a quietness, and then all of a sudden, there is this surge of energy, exchange, communication, yeah? And all that. And um, I feel like, for you, Scorpio, you are at a point in your life where you're ready for real commitment. You're ready to be proposed. You're ready to propose. You're ready for the real deal, yeah, in terms of 
love connection, of romantic relationship. The person that you're dealing with um, when they have approached you their intentions weren't really clear they were not very transparent about it it was so <laughs> opaque <laughs> they were not so clear about it when you ask them something when you want to get to know them you don't really get much information yeah you don't really get much information no elusive but um, there was a spark there, yeah, the beginning, the talk, the chat, and all. It started off with a good start, yeah. And it brings about that sense of having potential that, yes, with the attraction, with the fiery energy, um, the chemistry that you may have between one another, that brings in that belief that, yeah, there is a potential here, yeah. This could be a new one after, you know, if you have a bad ex relationship, this could be a potential for a good one. You know, you, you, you are, you're feeling that way. Mm -hmm. But I do see that, um, or for some of you, you may even believe that, well, with this new communication that has started off, whether this is a past or a new person, this seems to be a now a reward for the universe, from the universe for you after having felt all the the difficult past that you have and now you're ready you're very ready and then you're just waiting for that good person that good partner to come in yeah and it seems like somebody came in somebody did mm -hmm. but the only thing about this situation is that as fast as they came in it is also as fast as the the flame has been put off you may have found yourself trying to, you know, work things out, um, work together, spending time together, trying to rebuild. Some of you may even have moved in right away because of this fiery energy. You know, all, all that chemistry could actually bring you to that state of, yeah, we're meant to be. Let's lock this down. There is that sense. Some of you may even have decided to move in together, but after three months, you've decided to move out. There is that energy there. And for you, it feels like you just stopped having interest in talking, in discussing. Yeah. And your person is feeling the end of this. The, the, your person is feeling as though, wow, if this was a reunion, all of a sudden it's gone again. And they're down and back into that difficult phase when the ending has happened in the past if this is a past person if this is a new person even if it's pretty new i could sense that your person feels fe feels that this um, ending of a phase with you has hit them hard yeah it's not you may feel that you know it could be casual or something but this person felt it the ending yeah the end of what good times you both had. Especially for those of you who, at the initial part, you have already put in a lot. And that probably is um, coming from both parties. You have spent a lot of time, nights together. There's just some information that you may not be able to get from this person whenever you talk, whenever you want to know how many girlfriends do they have, yada, yada, yada. They may not be very verbal about all those things, but physically you connected and perhaps that connection has brought you both into locking the deal in the soonest time possible yeah it feels like there was a very abrupt i mean this the beginning was pretty fast but then there was an abrupt ending as well and then you just decided to turn your back although i could see that every now and then you do check on them in secretly through probably friends or, or their social media. But there is that element there that you are... You are kind of standing your ground that you want a commitment. And if this person is not ready for it, a commitment requires transparency, requires openness, intimacy, right? If this person keeps on saying no, being elusive and being, you know, not pretty much open with you, even if they show up to your door every single night the body is there but then the soul is not you know they are not they 
you wouldn't really be able to connect with a person in a rather more intimate level, right? And that is something that you need, you require here in relationship. Yeah, that's what you require. For some of you, um, after this breakup, you may even have felt like you were such a fool for, for giving in to this person, especially if this is the past. Yeah, if this is new, then you might probably just check this in as a rebound or something. But I feel it's more like you might be saying to yourself, you know, it's better to be full and happy rather than be full and sad and be fooled again, you know, something like that. Um, I do sense here, Scorpio, that you may still be waiting for this person to reach back out to you. Yeah. But you are not truly in full hope for it. And I don't see you really um, sort of begging or uh, overthinking this much. If you did in the past, then I don't see you now doing, th doing that. I don't see it that way. Because you can see, you can feel that this elusiveness of this person is actually giving a lot of drama in a situation. And this drama is something that you are avoiding whether it be with this person or in the future person that you will be meeting you don't want this drama anymore again if you are a cross watcher and you feel like this is reversed then take it as as reversed okay this is a um, general reading so pick your side here okay regarding your person i do feel that um they would ultimately lose hope in this situation Mm -hmm. or somebody who is wondering it's not just losing hope for now definitely they lose hope because you might have cut them off you know you stop talking to them but this is someone who um, might start to worry that their action <laughs> actually is the one causing this breakup yeah of course <laughs> isn't it yeah, you're, you're ready for the commitment and somebody is just not up for it or not willing to give and share their, their part here in, in building a, a connection. Yeah. So they would, you know, they would start to, the more you stop talking to this person, the more they would um, worry, where is this heading? Yeah, where is this heading? Are, is there still a chance with Scorpio and things like that? But there was a very good spark when you both started off. Yeah, there was a spark here. For some of you, this could even be the last try I am getting. You have given this person the last chance. This could have been a cycle coming back in your life yeah but the good part is i see that on your own you are able to stand on your own feet you got your shit together you have your own you know you're able to practice or have that lifestyle or having that personal freedom personal independence mm -hmm. and when you met this person you truly have fallen Fallen in love deep, Scorpio. Yeah. You've fallen deep. But this person may have started off meeting you um, as a casual encounter. That was their main goal. I mean, the very first time that you met this person, it was just, you know, just uh, fun. Possibly even attracted to how how stable you are, how financially able you are, yeah. But then they were not really putting more, they were not very much open or being intimate in, in this relationship, yeah. And I feel that there's been a lot of drama under, under the water here. And despite the fact that there's been a lot of drama, you have given this situation one more try. And you did, yeah. You did. That's why you opened up for that conversation. 
communication, the back and forth, hoping that this person would change, but apparently no, nada. Yeah. And hence, you might even think that, you know, you felt like such a fool for giving it another chance. Yeah. Okay, that's what I have for you. That's what I have for you. Um, at least for this week, and uh, watch out for your um, upcoming readings in, in the next few weeks. In the next week, I mean. Also for the weekend, I'll be doing some live readings, so you might want to join me there. Um, who knows? We will see if this um, we can still capture this energy and see how this evolves. All right? I'm going to leave it at that, and um, let me know in the comment section below if this resonates. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye now.